Norwich is serving. Okay, one good thing right here. I do like that Garnett sees Ignata, which way overrunning this ball and decides to speed it up at him. Obviously, that's not the form or anything that you want to have as Ignata, which, and he completely pops it up. If Garnett could have hit this ball a little bit more down the middle with a little more power, I think they could have won the point. But basically, they've got... Uh, McGuffin and Agnowich on the ropes, on their heels, completely in the defensive. And that is just bad playing on Garnett's part to run into his partner. Now, I agree. Okay, so this is why you don't want to be completely even at the net. So for those of you who haven't heard before, we're going to go over the blocker workhorse rule. Okay. And it's all dependent upon where you hit the ball. So we're going to move a little bit forward. Garnett's the one who chose to hit it here. No one else didn't hit this ball here. So what occurs when the ball is here? That makes Alshon, that makes him the blocker. Okay. So to be the blocker, Alshon should be completely right up here at the line. And the only thing he is defending is this. He's just defending speed ups he's ready for anything that's going to come here but that's all he cares about for garnett garnett is now the workhorse garnett should be a foot and a half two feet back off the line he actually shouldn't even really be straight he should have his body turned a little bit normally you want to kind of have it at like a 45 degree angle to the ball so his right foot should be back behind his left foot and then he's got to guard all this all that back here all this over here everything and everything behind Alshon that's what he's guarding and so when you I'm going to leave all that coloring on there let's just move forward a couple frames when this ball comes over here what whose mistake is running into who this is 100 percent Alshon's ball, he's doing his exact job of, hey, I'm here, I'm blocking, I'm supposed to smash this ball, and Garnett never in a million years should he be trying to take that ball. And that is because of where Garnett hit the ball. So this is, he hit the ball there, that determined the blocker. If the ball, let's erase all this fun stuff, if the ball had gone the other way, so if the ball was here, so we're going to move the ball over here. Now we're looking at the ball's over at Ignatowicz. Guess what? There's a big hole over here. Luckily, Ignatowicz couldn't get it there. But this point, Garnett is the blocker. He should be right here. He should be guarding everything that's coming off of from Ignatowicz, which he does. And... Alshon should be a foot and a half, two feet off the line, 45 degree angle. So Alshon's a little bit too far forward at this exact point, uh, but he should be giving space because of where the ball is at. But And that reason is because Alshon, at this exact moment, he's guarding the lob, he's guarding everything back here, he's got to guard everything back here, and that's why he should be off a little bit. And if they were properly playing that, they wouldn't run into each other. Okay, so once they run into each other, Alshon can barely hit the ball. And Ignatowicz does a great lob, literally hits the line. Don't even actually know if that's truly in, but they called it in. No one called it out. And away we go. So now Alshon and Garnett are on the defensive. They're trying to drop to get back up. Nice couple drops. Not the best footwork by either one of them. They're just fighting it. And it's just get one more ball over, right? And Garnett literally gives it a lob even. And McGuffin misses. And so that's the one thing. Sometimes when you're in this position of being back, you're both back and you're just fighting to survive. It's all about, it doesn't matter how, just always over. Don't put the ball in the net. Always over. 
Always over. These are not good drop. That's not a good drop. That's not a good drop. That's not a good drop. That once again, we're just doing always over. You'll win a lot of points just surviving and making them hit one more shot. So interesting point. I think we learned a lot from that one. Let's move on to the next one. 